Hey guys, I hope you're having a great day. I wanna talk about prevention today. I love teaching on this topic. I grew up with a mom who taught me this and I taught my kids and um, all of them growing up, uh, we really stress just taking care of our bodies as much as possible and preventing things. So we don't like to wait until we're down and out and sick. We like to do things to help support our body that help either the sickness, because we can't always avoid all the sickness, right? Um, we're all exposed to germs. We all have things that happen and that's okay, but we want to either lessen the time that we are sick or lessen the effects, um, but we want to just feel good. So really our time with Young Living has been very, very positive. Um, we do a lot of things daily and just a couple little things that you do daily are going to really help your family weather the storms of fall, winter, spring, and summer. Like a lot of people think, oh, we only go under the wellness line during the fall and during the winter. And that's um, the main time really that people start to feel unwell. But you also wanna carry that through and support your body during the spring and support your body during the summer. It's an all, it's, it's just a different mindset. Um, when you think about prevention. So we just wanna do little things. You don't even have to do a lot. Little things every day. Um, I love to help new moms get their kids into a routine because routines are great, especially for kids. Kids love routines. Um, they might fight them sometimes, but just having raised a gaggle of children and now have ki grandkids, like it, is great for kids to have routines and they feel safe, they feel secure, they know what's gonna happen next. Um, they love participating in routines and so the earlier you start them, the better. And that's all across the board with school work, you know, making a routine in the morning, get your backpack ready, put your clothes out the night before. All of those things, once you institute a routine for kids, it follows through to their adults. Um, helps us keep more organized. Um, I know I personally did not have that. I was the youngest of eight kids and my mom was probably just too busy, too tired and done by the time I was born. So no one ever helped me um, institute a routine and I really struggled with that until I had children and I started homeschooling myself. Actually homeschooling made me get into more of a routine because I had to. I had five kids I was homeschooling and um, it was complete chaos and stress until I developed a routine. And then I just saw how much uh, the kids just really followed in line and really enjoyed knowing what was gonna happen next, knowing what the next step was. And so just starting a couple things to help your body stay strong, keep your immune system strong, goes across the board, you start a good habit, and it's really hard to break it once you start and really get in the habit of things, it's really hard to go back and not do it anymore because you know you just know how much better you feel. So one thing, the biggest tip I always encourage parents, even adults, I have women that say my husband wants to take oils to work, um, but he just doesn't want to have to like take off the cap, do the droppers, how many drops they get. So he gets so confused. Um, I have a lot of people like that. So <coughs> you can find a more manly dropper. Um, I have like a dark red one, a roller ball. This is like a really pretty one that you just, um, if you use carrier oil or you're not sure if you should or you're using it on babies, yes, use your oils on your babies. Um, you could just get some uh, organic jojoba oil, put it in, put a little bit in there. You don't even, maybe one dropper full of jojoba oil, fractionated coconut oil, and then put in the oil. So say you want a toddler to use thieves and RC every day. Those are, RC is for every single thing respiratory, like all the worst kind of respiratory stuff you could think of um, is you want to use RC for. And then Thieves is for immune support. Those are two great oils to start with. So you can take off this roller top and you could put in 20 drops of RC, 20 drops of Thieves in this. And then um, you can even get, you know, funner ones. This is kind of pretty for an adult woman maybe. And you could get funner ones for kids. And then you could teach your kids, even toddlers, 
toddlers. Um, hey, put this oil on your feet and it is diluted. Just say, put this oil on your feet every night before you go to bed. And then I'm gonna set it here on your dresser and then every morning before you put on your socks or your shoes or before you get out of bed, you're gonna roll your feet again. And that is like so simple simple tip and it's got two oils in there so you don't have to hand them a drop you don't have to hand them bottles you don't have to go through that routine you make it up maybe once a week or maybe once a month depending on how much you put in there and then it is something that they can do themselves and they are going to really enjoy that routine and they're going to really enjoy that they're doing it themselves and you're going to enjoy the benefits of knowing that they have a stronger immune system when you send them out the door, whether it's to daycare, uh, grandma's, school, preschool, anything, um, any age kid. And this is great for myself as well. Say I have a morning routine of any number of oils that I choose. So during the winter, I love to use thyme um, for helping my body recover faster. Thyme is great for that. It helps your body fight all the things that um, a body can fight <laughs> during the winter, any other time of the year too. Um, and I love to use oregano. Oregano and thyme and thieves should be in every person's house during the winter. If you could only buy two or three oils, I would say oregano, thyme, and thieves. Um, and RC. RC is just great for every single thing respiratory. Now there are other oils that do all the same things that those oils do. But those are some key, um, RC and Are uh, Thieves are blends, and oregano and thyme, just, I grew up on oregano. Like, that's what my mom gave us if we had any kind of infection. She would give us oregano capsules um, with dried oregano in it. Um, now, oregano oil is hundreds of times more potent, works a lot faster, um, but it is great for all the things, right? And so if I um, wanted to create a wellness roller, which um, I do every year, it's great to just put in like 20 drops of each of those oils. So uh, RC, um, thyme, oregano, and thieves. And you could put them all in here, 20 drops each, and then you could just roll it, um, depending on wherever you wanna roll it. So maybe you don't want it on your neck. Maybe you don't wanna smell like those oils. So you can say, this is my foot, you could roll it on the bottom of your foot for your kids, for you, for your husband, wherever. You could rub it on your, uh, and then you could rub it down your husband's spine at night. You could take this roller and rub each other's spine in the evening down the middle of the spine. There's lots of nerve endings there. Oils on your spine are a fantastic way. That's why we have the raindrop uh, class. Oils on your spine are a fantastic way to get those oils into your system. So you just take the same roller that you would roll on your feet, you roll it down your spine, maybe at night, that's just a nice soothing routine. You could do it to your child at night like that as well. Say you're reading books, you could say, hey, we're gonna do our rollerball and then we're gonna read a book. How about that? And then in the morning, you're gonna put the oil on your feet yourself. Great routines for all above because it's really hard when you start to not feel great during the winter or summer, whenever you start to not feel good. And by the time you're not, you aren't feeling good, your body, your body is already like the, the, whatever's not making you feel good has already kicked into gear and is taking over because that's why you're starting to not feel good. So you want to lower the um, potential of that to take root in your system and you want to be preventative. So you want to, you just want to do this small step, just even a rollerball every day is a, of whatever oils you love. Some people love different oils um, for different reasons. And you can have a wellness roller. You can have um, an emotional roller. So all the oils for me, frankincense is my number one uh, oil to help me relax. It just, if I'm anxious at all, uh, for whatever reason or have any kind of emotional upset frankincense for me personally works the best so many people love stress away you can buy a package of just these uh, uh stainless steel roller caps you don't ever want to use plastic with the uh, tops on so you just um hold on you can take these on and off so you can use them on different bottles too so i think it's they're a dollar a piece or a pack of 10 for ten dollars 
in your back office in Young Living. So you can take any bottle from Young Living and um, you just snap that on. And then this black cap signifies that it's a roller ball. And then you could take it off. Say you're done with this Stress Away bottle. Stress Away is a great oil to help you relax. I personally love it as a perfume. That's why I buy Stress Away because it doesn't, it doesn't really help me de-stress a lot. It just kind of helps me um, smell good. So, but a lot of people use it for stress. So then I, I'm done with the Stress Away bottle. I could take this off, rinse it, and then just put it on my Cassia bottle. And Cassia will, is too hot for, your, for most skin everywhere else. Um, so Cassia goes on the bottom of your feet. Cassia is in the cinnamon family. It is a very potent fighter. I can't say all the anti words um, because three letter agency doesn't want us to say the anti words, but Cassia is like a, a clove, cinnamon. It is a fighter. It is uh, pretty potent. I either take this internally or I put it on the bottom of my feet. It's too intense. If you were to happen to diffuse it, only diffuse one drop, one drop. It's so potent. Um, I would mix it with lemon or tea tree or um, a, another citrus oil, but only do one drop in the diffuser because it is very, very, very potent <laughs> and it's a little bit too hot. So you don't want your kids getting into cassia. It's, a, it's too hot for that. Um, for your kids to, to get into and touch because then they touch their eyes. Again, if you get oils in your eyes, it is not going to hurt your eyes even though it burns like a banshee. It is just going to hurt. And then you just take a carrier oil like olive oil, pure olive oil. So now I have Cassie on my hand, so make sure I don't touch my eyes. Um, you would take a carrier oil like olive oil and just put one drop one drop of carrier oil, um, pure olive oil in your eyes if you happen to get any kind of oil in. I've gotten oregano in my eyes, I've gotten peppermint. Um, I did get thieves in my eye once. Um, it is very painful, but my eyes are fine. Nothing wrong with them. And you just put a drop of um, olive oil in and then it takes the sting away immediately. The fatty oil in olive oil, coconut oil, jojoba oil slows down the absorption of the fast penetrating oils um, and it just takes the pain right away. So the next thing is uh, taking your vitamins. Guys, take your vitamins. Don't ever, ever, ever buy store-bought vitamins from a grocery store. You don't even have to buy Young Living vitamins. Don't buy them from a grocery store. Get a reputable, look at the history of the company. Um, see if it's a one-owner company. Make sure it's not bought out by a big conglomerate like Pepsi or Coca-Cola or, you know, you don't want um, products that are bought out by those companies <laughs> I mean not those specific but like a big huge company that you know isn't really into health so research some you know you can reach out to me and I can give you some suggestions buy vitamins for your kids we have depleted our soil um, we don't eat enough vegetables fruit um, we just need vitamins and you you need like especially if you know that you don't eat those things on a regular basis if you're not eating a lot of fruit and vegetables you got to have a good multivitamin, especially with kids' vitamins. You don't want gummies because they have so much sugar in them. And with gummies, they purposely don't put a lot of um, vitamin content in it or each individual vitamin in it because they know that the risk of a child eating the whole bottle is high. So they do make the content of each vitamin lower. Um, because of that potential risk because they're gummies and so they're good and kids want to eat them and they have so much sugar in them that sugar depresses your immune system it kind of depletes the whole purpose right um, young living just came out whether you buy them or not doesn't matter but young living just came out with these immuno gummies and these are for kids adults anyone you only take two a day and these are not to chew like a whole bag when you're feeling down and out and unwell these are to take um, every day as a prevention so you take two gummies I actually have to hide this bag from my husband because he really really loves them they have no sugar added just stevia they've got elderberry in it they've got um, lime essential oil in it which is great for your respiratory system um, it's got um, elderberry flower 
elderberry in it, <laughs> like I said. Um, it's just a great immune support. That's a daily support. And if you have somebody that, an adult, a child that can't chew vitamins or can't swallow vitamins, these are great. They taste like fruit. Um, and again, they have no sugar, which is very unusual for a gummy because um, they fill those with sugar so that kids will eat them and enjoy them. But you want to stay away from gummies normally because they're just chock full of sugar and they don't have high quality um, vitamin content in them. The next thing is, um, so after taking lots, uh, taking a vitamin every day, get a multivitamin. Everybody needs zinc. Everybody needs vitamin D. Vitamin D is your vitamin, your happy vitamin. It is, it controls so many systems in your body. You can go out, if you go out in the sun for 30 minutes every single day, like just let the sun be on your face, on your hands without sunscreen. Sunscreen blocks the vitamin D the, or the sun rays to get into your system. Natural vitamin D is like what we all need. It actually can prevent cancer. It it boosts your immune system. It's your happy hormone. Like it's so good for you to be, um, when we're out in the sun, we just feel better. We feel happier. It is um, just changes our mood, changes our functions of our immune system. So if you know that you can be out in the hot sun for, or in the sun for 30 minutes without any sunscreen, that is supposed to give you all the, the, the vitamin D that you need a day. And then you don't need a supplement. But if you know that you don't get out in the sun and you, um, you know, feel the need to cover up in the sun, then you need to take a vitamin D supplement. It is critical um, in this day and age and all the things that our bodies have to fight and all their immune things that our body is being attacked with. We need zinc and we need um, vitamin D. It is just really, really important. If you can also get quercetin, um, that is another. And again, get a good quality, reputable vitamin brand that is not from the grocery store, not from Costco. Those big bottles of vitamins at Costco look so appealing, but they are junk vitamins. They are cheap for a reason. If you want cheap results, get cheap product. If you want good results, um, invest in a good product. It doesn't do any good to get $20 off and get a cheap product because that $20 wasted when it doesn't really do anything for your body and your body can't absorb it because half of what's in it is synthetic. So don't do that. Um, the next thing is with Young Living Oils at least, I personally really feel and have witnessed over thir like for 13 years that when we are down and out, when we our system is fighting something, Taking our oils internally works the fastest. So yes, um, we do diffuse. We have a diffuser going in our house all the time, every day that we're home. And so during the winter, I love to diffuse clove. And Christmas spirit is December or November, December, and January. I only diffuse Christmas spirit because that just gives my house a holiday smell. It is a powerhouse for your immune system. I love to put a drop under my tongue and then put the rest in the diffuser. It is so good for you. It's just a very calming oil, it, but it also is a powerhouse for your immune system. But clove is, um, it smells like fall, it smells like winter, it's very warm and cozy feeling, but it is a one of the highest um, fighters, um, creating a hostile environment to bacteria and viruses and things like that. It creates a hostile environment to that. And so clove is cheap. It is um, cheaper than Thieves, it is cheaper, it's just a cheap oil. So it is a powerhouse, but it's inexpensive. So I love to diffuse, I just ordered more uh, clove for the winter because it gives that winter scent and it's very inexpensive and it's really great for our immune system. Now during the summer, I love to diffuse lemon because lemon is like, for this big bottle, it's 11.25 I think and it only, um, and it's such a powerhouse for energy, for focus, and for our immune system. And so all summer long, plus our house smells like lemon. It just is a fresh scent. It smells like summer. It's just very enjoyable. So that is another very inexpensive oil to, to diffuse. I love to stay with inexpensive oils to diffuse because then I feel like I can diffuse all day long and it's okay. I'm not spending gobs of money. And then I just use the rest of the money that I would put in our health budget, budget for the oils that I'm gonna apply topically or the oils that I'm gonna take internally. Um, 
So when you are down and out and feel not good, the first sign, don't wait for two weeks in and then call me and be like, you know, I've been sick for two weeks. What do you think I should do? No, it's your first sign. Call me, call the person that signed you up in this account. Um, do what you need to do at the first sign of that tickle in your throat. Hit it hard. So when I tell people, if they call me and say, hey, I'm just not feeling good, what should I do? And I say, put, you know, 20 drops, 15 drops of like five drops of thieves, five drops of oregano, five drops of thyme in a capsule. Take that, take it every two or three hours. And they're like, what, so much? And I'm like, yes, you wanna feel better by tomorrow so you can go to work, so your kids can go to school? Like, yes, do it every couple hours. Now, I also take things or put things on topically. I mostly put them down my spine. Uh, you can always put them on the bottom of your feet if you're not sure where to go and what to do. Put the oils on topically every hour. <laughs> it is so, so, so important. Whether you're having an emotional issue or whether it's um, just like need your body to fight stronger, every hour is key. When I uh, just had recent surgery uh, on my knee, I put uh, four oils in a capsule and I took those every three and a half to four hours. Um, and I didn't have to take anything else. I didn't take Motrin. I didn't take any of the things that the doctors prescribed. I didn't take um, Tylenol, not one single thing after surgery. All I did was put a certain number of oils in a capsule, took it every three to four hours to stay ahead of the discomfort. And um, that was all I took. It was amazing. It only took a week and then I didn't need it anymore. It was, you know, it was a week's worth. So I planned ahead. I knew that those are the things that I was going to use. So before my surgery, I ordered those oils, made sure I had capsules. And then I was, you know, and all those oils that I took for the discomfort for the surgery also helped with, um, it helped my body's response to the inflammation from the surgery. It helped, um, my body fights any kind of uh, stuff that I would have gotten at the doctor's office or the surgery center. Um, it just helped my body. So those oils that I took for the discomfort had multiple other uses. Um, it helped my immune system stay strong. It helped me um, help my body fight the inflammation and it helped um, just all over emotions too. So it's pretty incredible blend. You can message me if you want that. But I, but I planned ahead. I knew that the surgery was coming. I knew that I was gonna use this certain mix of oils for that. And I did it every three, three and a half to four hours just to stay ahead of the discomfort. Again, I only had to do it for a week. And then after that week was done, any oils that I had left, I get to use for other things. I still get to use them to help support my immune system, to help my skeletal system, to help my respiratory system. Um, so make sure that you order your oils for fall <laughs> um, and winter do it now so that you're not so that your whole house doesn't go down and then you're like what oil should I do and then I don't have that oil it's just a crazy place to be so be preventative think ahead think of and you know and a lot of people are struggling struggling financially right now I get it um, but I can give you so many inexpensive like lemon clove um, lime, orange, basil, thyme, oregano, those are all inexpensive oils that you can use for those times of um, when you're feeling under the wellness line. There are lots of other oils that I would recommend, but if you're on a really tight budget, message me. I can help you out with that. I can tell you which ones are gonna be the best bang for your buck because when you put them in a capsule or put them in a teaspoon of honey if you can't swallow capsules, um, or just put them in water. Some people put them in water. I don't like to do that personally, but some people do. Um, or juice, whatever your drink is. People, like if I'm at a restaurant and I know that I'm gonna have to eat something because maybe we're with friends and that's what they're serving, and I'm gonna have to eat something that I know is gonna upset my stomach, then I take peppermint and I put a couple drops of peppermint in every glass of water that I drink. And that peppermint just helps my digestive system work better and it also helps my body uh, deal with the inflammation from eating the things that I shouldn't eat. So those are oils that I always have on hand. I know that those are issues that I deal with. Um, uh, if you need kidney support, the KMB kidney supplement, uh, it's a tincture. It is the bomb. It works in a day. 
and I and I always tell people to finish out the bottle out of the whole week but you will find relief in a day if you need kidney bladder support it works it works and it works and if it keeps you from being more uncomfortable if it gets you back to work quicker gets the kids back to school faster having a product that works the first time is always the best deal always instead of buying cheap products that don't work that you have to use 10 times more of um, just doesn't work right it just doesn't work now think of respiratory because fall's coming um, everybody kind of deals with respiratory our number one respiratory oil is RC we also have breathe again and we have several different types of eucalyptus um, rosemary is an, a very inexpensive oil and that's great for um, uh, respiratory uh, frankincense can be work if that's all you got frankincense can be used as respiratory lemon does work it wouldn't be my first choice but it does work as well Again, you can apply topically. If you know that you or your child, your husband, your whatever, your spouse, um, deals with a little respiratory distress or is prone to that, think preventatively and put one drop of this or put it in a roller ball and have them roll their chest on it daily, once in the morning and once at night. That is prevention. So then it's when, when they do get attacked with something, the results are going to be less because you've already done things preventatively every day. So if you were to start feeling under the wellness line and couldn't breathe and were having respiratory distress, you would, I would say use like five drops of RC and do that every hour for the first uh, day or every for the first couple hours. But that's like when things have like set in and it's taking root in your body. If I'm just trying to be preventative, I'm gonna take one drop, and that's a totally different thing, one drop or just like a little roll, if it's in a roller ball, and I'm gonna do that every morning and every night before I go to bed. Again, that routine, and just, it'll you will see such a difference in your thinking, your uh, alertness, your cognitive function. You will see a difference in your body, like just listen to your body, because it will tell you that it is like, this is good, it's opened up my airways, I can breathe. It's like, every time I go for a walk, if we go hiking, we're about to do that soon, in the next hour, and I'm gonna put on a drop of RC, just because, and I don't have anything going on, and I don't suffer with any chronic thing with my rest, with my lungs, but ever since I was exposed to mold years ago, I just always put a drop on when I'm doing anything, exercising, gardening, walking, um, by just anything uh, where I have to exert myself. And so I always put a drop of RC on. That is like the number one oil to have in your house during the, all year round, but during the winter, anytime when it was like 98, 99 of the other day, it was just, it's so thick outside. It was hard to breathe just because it was thick outside and it was hot and like muggy. And so I just used a drop of RC just to kind of open things up and you can just breathe differently it's just wonderful to have so RC in your arsenal is key the last thing is because um, I'm not going over everything today uh, we'll do emotional oils another time but the last thing is if you I, I don't generally get sick I, I just I don't because I do all these things preventatively but if you um, need to get to work, if you need to uh, get to your job, if you need your kids to go to school, get a bag. I always have two bags of the Thieves cough drops. Um, this is for any kind of coughs you have. I s <laughs> sore throats, coughs, anything. This is so um, great. I know they're $20 a bag, which is absolutely insane, but um, when you get quality products, you have quality ingredients and it takes money to get those quality ingredients. If you research and uh, see how Young Living produces their products, you know why they cost more. Um, hands down. They are distilled only in stainless steel, never in plastic. Um, we grow our own farm, we have our own farms, we um, distill our, all our own products, we distill things, um, all the, the harvest uh, material, on site right away we don't truck it anywhere there's just reasons why things cost more because we put the time effort research 
um, into quality products. It is costs more to have organic, and uh, Young Living is beyond organic. So the Thieves Cough Drops, I usually get them on my rewards, and so I don't pay for them. I have reward points that I can redeem for these. So it's $20, and I always get two bags at the start of winter. Um, and then my husband, who like works in a public place, I work from home, but he works in a public place, so um, in a public place with thousands of people. So he loves to take them at the first sign, guys, at the first sign of a tickle. First sign of being like tired, like, gosh, am I getting sick? I'm not sure. I'm kind of not, I'm feeling run down. <sighs> Grab these and you will be amazed. These are not like the cough drops you buy in the store. They are just so different. They don't have any sugar in them. So people that uh, can't have sugar like myself, um, they're great for that because they, they just, they just work. I don't know. They just work. So get one bag and do the trial yourself. The first sign of anybody in your family having a cough or a sore throat, start to use these and see for yourself. I don't need to sell them because they sell themselves. They really, really work. So if you got loyalty points, get a bag on loyalty, get it for free, try them out, put it away. Like we don't use these for any other reason except if we get a cough that we cannot, it's like a cough cough. Not just like, <clears throat> oh, my throat's a little scratchy. But like if we get a cough cough, that's when we use these because they are expensive. Works every time. My husband used them last winter and he was able to go to work. He like he just felt better next day. Um, we used oils on him. He took oils internally and then he used these to suck on his, his scratchy throat was gone. His, um, his cough subsided within using two of these um, and it, they just work. So those are things to have on hand. <laughs> if you know that there's any specific thing that you deal with, that your children always seem to come down with, that you seem to come down with, whether it's respiratory, whether it's um, ears, you know, you could put a cotton ball in your ears with purification and lavender on it, like a couple drops of each, um, three or four drops of each purification and lavender and put a cotton ball in your ear. It literally takes ear discomfort away. You can also rub the oils in front and back, but the putting the cotton ball with the oils on it, so you're not pouring oils in your ears because we don't do that. Ears and eyes, we don't put oils in. Um, but the cotton ball with three to four drops of purification and lavender, and you put it in your ear, and I've gotten it where I've gotten an earache and I don't even know why because it never turns into anything else. I put the cotton ball in, I leave it in all day, sometimes overnight, and then it, it's just within hours that the discomfort is gone. You could do that with kids. Um, you could leave it in for a week, like change it every day, but you know, have them put it in every day for a week. I've never had to do it beyond a day, but um, it really just takes, it just, you know, the science behind how it works, I don't even know. But those oils kind of like infusing in your ear on a cotton ball absolutely works. So have that on hand. Uh, be preventative because it's going to eliminate having to do a lot of like emergency stuff. If you've got the toolkit in your house available at the ready, as soon as you start to feel like you're going down, start applying. But the big key is, is to prevent, okay? Just prevent. So whether you buy just one bottle of Thieves and you put it in a roller ball and you thieve to everybody's feet every night and every morning, if that's your start, do that if you want to get a bottle of clove because that's cheaper it is a powerhouse so put it take a bottle of clove make up a roller ball make everybody up one in hand you can get them on amazon you just want to make sure you get the stainless steel rollers um you can get them on amazon for super cheap the roller balls make a wellness roller for everyone in your house even if it's just jojoba oil and clove and then um, have them roll that on their feet morning and night you will see a difference in everybody's health over the winter. I guarantee it. So if you have any questions, um, you know, message me, but please like, subscribe, and share this video, and we will be doing more. Have a great day.